inside the machine. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, how it comes. Go for it. Just All unbox right. it and go ahead. Purified water, connection for a neutralizer, plug already on, L630, and then we have the hot water, oh that's, is that L1520? Oh uh, yes, you're right, and the cold water connection there, okay. And the cold water. Notice that it doesn't break down, it's just a pin in the ES to find. Okay. But it's uh, on there too, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, good. All right, basically what happens is since it's an electric door lock, slightly in here, yeah, there we go. Oh, wasn't so bad. Yeah. If you look closely in here, you'll see it right there, that opening of my pinky finger right there. That's what this has got to slide into to pop it open. Look, nothing comes inside the chamber. Nothing in the chamber. Well, as this pretty or as this pretty. So this PG8583 has four water connections, two cold, one hot tap water, and one purified connection. A three phase 20 amp receptacle, which is a. There we go. Okay. And then one drain hose here. So we're going to perform these connections over here, slide the machine into this knee hole, and connect the machine. You'll see, I don't have a powder oh, door right, dispenser. Yeah. Okay. okay. Which means if somebody's getting a 90 gun. We'll be removing the rear panel so that we can get to the flow meter for the DOS module connections. And you just lift it up, it's hooked in on the top. you're going to need a, a flat screwdriver to take off this that little cover. Yeah, this cover. Don't be surprised if you crack some of the fittings holding it on. But. Okay. Never done this before. Well, that's good. <laughs> So you just gotta pick the appropriate one. Okay. Okay. So we're going for a detergent. So we're gonna take the blue one out. 
and let's open up our K85 module. Some instructions, a flow meter in the bag, instructions, and the actual pump and the tubing. Pick up tube, level. Okay. Hopefully, the flow meter is better on this than it is the neutralizer pump now. Uh, it should be. That's what they said about this one. We'll see. So I think the K60 is supposed to be the uh, savior. Yeah, well, no, there's no way. The new neutralizer or something? All right. I'm getting a call a week <coughs> about those flow meters now. Okay, well, just pick whichever one you want. Let's go farthest away. Yeah. And how do you know which one I get to know on the front? Why you assign it? It doesn't matter. No. Oh, you're talking about, I'm talking, the physical connection here is irrelevant. You can pick whichever open way you want. Okay. But you do have to go into the program and tell the machine that this DOS module is not part of it. Yeah, the blue wire. We'd be using the red one if uh, this you is. You might want to go around the wire, see how you have that. You know what I'm saying is, you might want to. You got to lay it over towards the middle. Remember with the seam that you typically be putting the back panel back on first. Ah, yes. Well, why don't we put the back panel back on? Yeah. We should film, should open that panel, go back on. Yeah. You can angle in the top. So you know those speed nuts on the bottom, Dennis? Mm -hmm. Suck. <laughs> they move. They'll get lost, they'll fall off. Yeah, exactly. Hey, remember how it was two screws to take the top off on the 78 series? Four for this. Two in the front and two in the back. Inside? Yeah. Easy peasy. So we got the purified water connected. Fishing the other lines to the cabinetry under the sink here. Inline water filters that need to be installed. One that's marked specifically for the purified water. There's the filter insert. And we have Two more for hot and cold. And also comes with some seals that'll be used. A clamp for the drain hose. And a little tube of silicone that would be used for the, the heat deflector, steam deflector, and some nails that tack the heat deflector in place underneath the cabinetry and a Y adapter that would be used for the cold water connection. It's 
why I get the big bucks. Yeah, what are turned on? No, no drips. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I do, yeah. I'm going to come in and take one last picture of our utility connections. We have our hot and cold DI purified and our drain hose will be connected next and then our electrical is here with our NEMA three-phase connection and there's our pure water connection. <laughs> this um, steam deflector is a peel and stick that would be mounted under the countertop towards the back of the machine in, in like this area to stop moisture from the aerosol steam condenser in the back just to deflect the the condensate from you know affecting the countertop if the countertop is made of uh, a particle board or wood and then towards the front we would have this uh, steam deflector the stainless steel that would be nailed tack nailed to the bottom of the countertop in the front edge to just deflect steam from when the door is opened. Okay, so all our connections are completed. Yes, uh, yeah. we haven't touched anything. Okay, well, I'll <laughs> let you guys do it for now if you want. Go for it. Sure. Obviously, make sure the door is closed. Great Britain, right? Well, supposedly that's been rectified. Oh, okay. Okay, but probably your best bet is to make sure the door is closed. Good. Okay. Uh, USA. Okay. Okay. Now, probably we're going to, even though you have the option for Fahrenheit now, I suspect it's going to stay in Celsius because most labs will likely want that still. That makes more sense. Okay. Now you can pick how you have your day, month, and year GMP. situated. GMP here. So, day, day, month, month, year, year. I like that. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. And 12 or 24 hour clock. Military time. In the honor okay. of Coast Guard Mike here. Minus five, right? <laughs> Six. Six. Four, five. All right, the water hardness. Uh, obviously, we've tested ours. And, uh, yeah, if you're running 70 degree gonna... water, I get with 70 degree water hardness, I think you're feeding the machine mud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but here, go ahead and set it to zero for now. Something else to keep in mind, uh, yeah, that will only advance so far before it'll stop sometimes. Even though we're setting it to zero, the very first time it's still going to run through reactivation. Now here's where you can select, let's say you didn't have cold, hot, or DI, hmm. okay? Nice. But obviously, here's something to keep in mind though, let's say I select I don't have cold, mm -hmm. I'm sure you're going to generate error messages. Anybody want to answer to guess why? The, the aeros aerosol steam condenser. Only uses yep. Now, let's say you don't have DI, okay? Um, on the 90, with the 78 series, when you were able to say, okay, use cold water instead of DI or hot water instead of DI, here you can do the same thing, but you have to get into a different program you do it. Oops. Injector plus. Slightly different program yeah. package. Yeah. Let's see if it'll win. Even though you guys, I know you guys have it hooked up. The reason I'm picking Universal is because it, at least if it runs. What I liked about the existing machine is that it gave me the temperature of the main wash, but then once I started to cycle, it gave me the actual temperature. Here it's like a, here it's like almost going back to a 77 series machine. Hmm. Display, you know, contrast, brightness, switch off after. Uh, here, what is that? I have to select no. Now to go back, I select yes. And now I can program when the machine turns off after non use. Like a sleep okay. mode. Yeah, so it comes to fault as you can see, it's set to turn off after an hour of not being used. But you saw it was kind of weird the way I had to get to where I could alter it, right? Yeah, Dennis, you may want to see this, okay? Sorry. 
the switch off after function, it's mm -hmm. set to yes. If I set it to no, now I can go back and set it to yes again, and this is how I can now get to the point where I can alter it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, an hour, I guess an hour of non-use, I guess is fine. Yeah. Factory default, <laughs> it's exactly what yeah. its name entails. You do that, you're going to have to go through the whole commissioning process again. Including starting, uh, completing an initial program without fault for a Yes, time. exactly. Okay, software version, it gives you just all the software versions of it. It's not, you can't do anything with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and once again, code. All right, I'm going to go back to program settings. Program settings, okay? You have reset program, which is exactly what its name entails. If you've monkeyed around with a program, you can reset it back to its factory default. Mm -hmm. Okay? Change program. This is where I can select what program I want to change. We'll do universal. And you see right now, this is where mm -hmm. I can deselect that, move on, we'll put it back. Okay? You know, main wash. Okay? That's all set up. In order to turn off the spray arm monitoring, I have to go into where it says accept, okay? Rinse arm monitoring, okay? You see it's on. I have three options, off or off a basket, okay? On means it's looking for spray arms in the center. Off the basket means then only the bottom spray arm is on. And off means obviously everything is off, okay? Um, what setting are you going to want to set it to? Ask the client. Right. I think you should be safe with just the bottom spray arm being yeah, on. Yeah, you would think. Mm -hmm. Not the rack. Yeah, so that's where you would have to do it. Now, this is where you can also alter the amount of water the machine brings in, okay? Now, one thing you have to keep in mind with these wash cycles, if you think back to the 77 series with the pressure switch, we always took in the same amount of water. This takes in various amounts of water in different wash blocks, okay? Um, now think about it, there are a couple of wash blocks that bring in 10 liters of water. I don't think there's, there, I'm sure there's a limit. Because you saw I could add into up to eight and a half liters. If this machine took in 18 and a half liters, it's leaking. Yeah, yeah but it's hell. not gonna let you do that though, right? I'm sure you would hope not. I haven't tested that theory, okay? <laughs> um, Using for a test. Now one thing I was kind of surprised about when I went to the TSD yesterday, I wanna see this, okay? Okay, here, now remember, here this is where I'm telling the machine whether it has a pre-wash or main wash and all that. But now let's say I want to monkey around with the actual wash blocks. I have to go back into accept. Mm -hmm. We had rinse on monitoring, volume, um, water volume change, drainage time. Now you see here pre-rinse one, okay? Wash block temperature uh, without yeah. heater set, okay? And you can see I can turn my pre-wash now mm -hmm. all the way up to 93C. Okay, I'm going to go into the whole time. Yeah, whole time. Yes, you have whole time, the whole nine yards. Now, yeah. rinse saw monitoring. What's the crazy part of this? Why do I have that there? Okay, I'm going to stand up for a little bit. The rinse saw monitoring I did outside of this menu was for the entire wash program. Mm -hmm. Here, you have the option. Yeah. If I want it on. Or the wash block. Yes. The now, but one remember, look, but. the one I did outside of that is like the global one for the wash program. Since I now have it turned off, anything I do here is kind of irrelevant. And you see it's even set to on, okay? It doesn't matter because I did the global one for the wash program. I think it's kind of strange. I mean, I can't imagine why you'd want it on for, let's say, the pre-wash and then off for the main wash. I mean, well, you know, well, that's how some of the phone monitoring, okay? Um, and that's pretty much it for that, okay? This is where you can also, let's see. Here, you can see it's not giving me the option, though, to change the name, okay? You want to change the name. That, you got to get into programming mode, okay? And a lot of people seem to have a hard time getting into programming mode on these things. It's actually pretty easy. One, two, three, four, five. As soon as it lights up, I can take my finger off now and just wait. Guess you, what? You held that. Then held that. Yeah, oh shit, this is going to make me go through this again because we, you wouldn't typically have to go through this. But remember, it's running me through the commissioning again because we still haven't completed it. That's what it would normally come up with code to get into mm -hmm. programming mode. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm trying to 
to think of how I got here. This is kind of weird. Let's turn it back off again. I think it would actually be easier to show you on my machine how to do this because going through this programming thing all the time is getting a little dicey here. Okay, right. okay dispensing system, okay? Yes, so we connect these accept. pumps and then like run a prime mm -hmm. with... Well, I'm accepting it right now, okay? Now this is where concentration, okay? What are we talking about? We're going to be talking about the flow rate. Okay, no program, no. Oops. Okay. All right, finally we're in programming mode. So I have program settings. There's also an altitude function, okay? Which, if I set it to yes, okay, I have different max temperatures I can set, depending on the altitude. And it does tell you which setting you should use in the instructions based on Oh, what the altitude is. Yep. Okay. Um, demo mode. I don't know why they ever put a demo mode on a lab. Trade show, yeah. Yeah. Code advanced settings, okay? This is just another nice way, again, of setting the code. Lock program. We went through this before, where you can lock a program. Or lock programming, I should say. In other words, you know, somebody can't monkey around with right, it. So it's validated so go back yep. into programming. Yep. Interruption it. allowed, okay? This is where you can set it up if you want to have allow interruption of a wash cycle. Then it'll let you open the door. Yep. Yes. And as a matter of fact, we're going to do that because I'll set it so it can do that. Dispensing system, okay? DOS 1. Active, inactive. We went through this before, too. Mm -hmm. But we haven't set a dispensing amount for. Well, not yet. Wash pressure sensor. That's the analog pressure sensor in the back of the machine. It can be programmed off. Hmm. Residual water. Uh, once again, I'm guessing, I don't remember exactly what that is, but I'm guessing that's to leave water in yeah, the chamber. The program, sure. anyway, so if we set it to yes, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't even tell me what I can do. Might be, might be a different time for training. Okay. Get all the water well, no, there's a separate place where you can extend the drain, drain time. time yeah. yeah, but I mean, if we use, if we have residual water, we cannot use disinfection problems. You know what I mean? Because it's supposed to not... Yeah, I understand what you're saying. In the, in the end of the program. Right. I'm sure it's explained in the book, okay? Now, you see here where it says demineralized water supply, okay? This is where I can tell the machine... Actually, we had it set to inactive. Oh, you're not doing it here? Hmm. Let me check the plumbing connection. Off, okay. Why are you not letting me... Hmm. I thought it would be here that you would let me... Hmm. Okay. I don't remember what that is. Uh, yes. The offsets for the NTC. I don't know why you need that, but once again, you do have it here. Calibration, right? You're selling calibrations now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Machine number, batch number, service telephone number. All right. Program settings, okay? This is where you can also create programs, too. Okay? But we're going to go into change program, universal, accept. See? This is where I can change the name now. Do you still have the option to copy programs? And uh, new program. Yeah, see, copy, create. Cool. So, it is actually quite a bit of stuff you can do here. It's okay. much more programmable than its uh, 78 series. Uh, how's it? It's easier. You don't have to yeah. really follow a book too much. The hieroglyphics on the screen. Oh, yeah. here's one. Yeah, that's one active. We'll set that to only active. Set that to active. Okay. Red into the red container. That'd be kind of helpful. Comes with a 10 liter stick. 
for the neutralizer. And just for maximum confusion, yeah. black into the blue container. Okay. So, can you we run a, pro, a prime? All right. Um, if I remember correctly, correctly, they kind of go here for it. There we go. That's priming. Your rinse is blue. Yes. Yep. Which is nice. Uh, oh, by the way, um, pump casings, it's not a pump head anymore, yes. Now to do the priming, you're going to have to go to settings, which is that button there, correct? And you can go right into settings, and you'll find dust prime. And there you go. Try again. What does that mean? Rolling? What do you mean? Okay. Now to do the priming, you're going to have to go to settings, which is that button there, correct? And you can go right into settings, and you'll find dust prime. And there you go. Try again. What does that mean? Rolling? What do you mean? See, it thinks the door's closed right now. Wow, oh, it's here, it's not there. <laughs> yeah, see? Now I'm going to generate a fault now, which I did, you can see, because I took the magnet away. And I had to yep. the door fault, yep. basically? Yeah, because... And I can... I can... All right. Turn it on. So we faulted no. with a... Here, so what you do. Here, let me show you. Okay, uh, well, no, first... You cannot, you cannot turn up. You gotta be a little more patient, sir. <laughs> okay. Oh, geez, please. What you're looking to do is see if you can get into service mode with the door open. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Priming program door open. You would need the magnet to do that. But no, I think what you're asking. Check the components. You can get, but. One, two, three. And as soon as we get some illumination, I can take my finger off. Yeah, but what's the... So, now, once again, because we turned it off, first we got to go through this stupid commissioning process again. I was to check the, if we have four from the detergent pump oh, to inside. Because yep. got, we got the same fault. Oh, did you really? Yes. Okay, by setting the flow rate. How do, we need to how do you do that? Okay, we well, need to calibrate. This. Yes, this would be how you would do it, mm -hmm. okay, in the service mode. Now, the way Germany has you doing it again is the there's no way you can connect a tube inside the wash chamber, which